Hello, and welcome to Mobile Gaming News Weekly. We are the gaming on phone team that specializes in bringing weekly mobile gaming news to your feed at the earliest availability. Pokemon Unite, the MOBA from Nintendo, has been set to release on mobile this September. The game thrives with its new format. Rather than an advance and conquest game mode, the win is granted for the team who has accomplished the most with the available time. If you are enthusiastic about baseball, even casually, then you may have surely heard about Out of the Park Baseball or OOTP, which is a long-running franchise that has been around for 22 years. For the first time, the franchise has been released for smartphone devices and has been christened Out of the Park Baseball Go. This game not just focused on catering experience for the existing fans, but also for the newer fans. The game is said to be free to download on both Android and iOS devices. At E3, Square Enix renamed Hitman Sniper Assassins as Hitman Sniper The Shadows. This game was formerly known as Project Hitman Sniper Assassins and has now been rebranded into a completely new mobile shooter game with a new story, new characters and a new level of gameplay. The sequel release of Mini Day Z, Mini Day Z 2, is now available globally for all Android and iOS devices with the official update release bringing a lot of improvements over open beta. The official launch has many updates including multiplayer, bandit screamers, special attacks, long range, shotgun and much more. The massive popular fantasy MMORPG Runescape Mobile has arrived on Android and iOS. The game was earlier available on a premium members only beta. After being up for a pre-registration process from April, the open world PC title is now set for a mobile release. It is to be noted that the mobile version of the game has an additional download space of 3.5GB, therefore one must make sure the device has enough space. Farlight 84 open beta version is now live, coming from Lilith Games, the developers of AFK Arena, Rise of Kingdoms and etc. The game has currently initiated a beta version in order to fix the issues and make an official launch later this year. Farlight 84, unlike the other Royal Battle games, brings to the players different gameplay, new rules and a new PvP experience. The game is fast paced with each match consisting of 40 players with futuristic utilities available in the game. Niantic, Hasbro and Tommy Company have teamed up and announced the Transformers Heavy Metal, an augmented reality game that bring Optimus Prime and Bumblebee to life in the real world through the Niantic Lightship platform. In Transformers Heavy Metal, players will be able to join the Guardian Network, which is a group of humans banded together against the Decepticons. Since the game has not made an official launch right now, players can register that email and get notified when the game will make a launch in their area. Devolver Digital, publisher of hits like Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout and Hotline Miami, recently made an announcement regarding the two new upcoming mobile games, out of which one game is titled Revolver Tumble Time, which was disclosed in a tweet. The official release date is yet to be disclosed. Devolver Tumble Time is a physics-based puzzle game releasing for free this year. However, this comes with ads and in-app purchases. It is being developed by No Popo Fun, a mobile gaming development studio that has worked on a very simplistic games for iOS. Also at E3, Square Enix announced the remaster of the first six Final Fantasies. Each game will be available individually on iOS, Android and other platforms such as Steam, but no release date was given until now. Rumors regarding the release of Battlegrounds Mobile India has been around for a while. Fans have been waiting patiently for a long time after the ban in September 2019. And finally, the time is here where the PUBG Mobile fans can go back to the nostalgia with the Battleground Mobile India Open Beta.
Global interactive entertainment developer and publisher MiHoYo, the studio behind famous releases such as Genshin Impact and Honka Impact 3rd, has announced its first romance detective game, Tears of Themis. It is set to release on Android and iOS in summer 2021. Players will step into the exciting feudal law, defend truth and justice, and craft romantic relationships with four unique male protagonists in this free-to-play game. So that wraps it up for this week's mobile gaming news. So until we meet again, goodbye and thank you for watching.